Hi. Uh, welcome to the bridal suite of the Hanoi Hilton. Williamson, Lieutenant Commander, off the Hancock. Yeah, well, the Hancock. How long have you been? A year, I think. The other on the cell block. Hi, I'm Paul Kennedy, Lieutenant JG, off the Enterprise. The Earl Hubman Captain, Air Force. Bill Oldman, Marine Major. Had to get up, but the leg's gone. Busted in two places. Believe it or not, I've, I've been here the longest six months over in the annex. Well, is besides you. Four for me. And the cripple here is the new boy. Three weeks. A year's a long time. Who else have you seen? No one. I saw a message on the bathhouse wall. It was signed a Navy driver. That message, and, and that's all. So it's been a, it's been a very long time. I began to think that I wouldn't see anyone, and so... <sighs> Seeing you guys is... Uh... What's your name again? Paul Kennedy, sir. Paul Kennedy. Oh. 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 Sure. Captain Hubbard. Captain Hubbard. <laughs> Bill. 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 All right, Bill. <laughs> Welcome, sir. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> How long you in, Bill? Uh, 21 years in the Corps. 21 years, simplify. Right. Where are you from? Philly, you? St. Louis. Oakland. So tell me about what's going on at home. What have I been missing? I'll tell you, Williamson. For openers, I got this 16-year-old daughter. Brings home this kid, a boyfriend. Okay, now this kid has got hair almost across his ears. So my wife asks him in a, in a decent, courteous way. She says, don't you find your hair a little feminine? Little son of a bitch looks at her straight in the eye and says, compared to you, maybe. So I killed him. <laughs> don't believe him. <clears throat> Something wrong, Commander? Maybe. I mean, I, I I don't know who you guys really are. Why you're allowed company. It's okay, sir. Relax. And there's no conspiracy here. Look. Our war's over. Once we're in, we're in here, we're as good as discharged. As far as being together, look, the old was hurt. That's why I'm in here. Yeah. Can you handle it? Yeah. I'm here as an afterthought. Until three weeks ago, I was in a jungle camp. I'm not supposed to be a fighting man anymore. I did my war in Korea. I'm a recall. Right about now, I should be taking a 503 from Grand Central to Scarsdale. A voice too deep to be a V. Must be a flyer. Flyer up! Hey, drive up! Come on! No, do! No, do! You quiet! Hey, don't put him back in solid. My orders are simple. Firstly, save everything. Me and all of them in cell seven, okay, sir. We're fantastic over here. Never better. Make you act contrite. Repeat, do not act contrite. Secondly, Williamson, you keep working on that transom with that nail you found. You hear? All right, carry on, gentlemen. Okay, Ashby. This time I want a straight answer. Understand? Yes, sir. All right. Now explain. If Rod Steiger was on the czarist side, why would he want to help Omar Sharif? Oh, because he really wants Julie Christie's bones. But she was in love <laughs> with Tom Courtney, right? Uh, no, sir. Uh, Courtney was on the train, was all. I think he was meant to be Trotsky. Hey, forget that. Colonel Cathcart, what did you mean that Johnson's ordered a bombing pause? Did the V respond? Will they talk? You know, in Korea, they talked for three years before the POWs came home. Three years! Hubman, you're a delight. Living with a happy, upbeat guy like you is a real delight. You know something? If this was World War II, I'd escape. I'd get away from you and the gooks. 
Colonel. Could it really be that long? Actually, we we don't have to tell you that this is not Korea. Men and criminals, the people of Vietnam want you to know the truth. Have you been wondering why there are so little number of new American criminals? Did you think it is because your cohorts are winning the war? <laughs> How you are wrong. Your own president has ordered slow down. No more do your bombers strike at us. You are being deserted by your own confederates in crime. Things will get worse, though, because as we suffer from your war, so will you. They won't slow down the bombing! Christ, you'd be here forever. We'll never get out of here. Never. Yes, we will. We stick together. We follow orders. Who cares what happens in here? Why should I take orders from somebody because they used to outrank me? Does outrank you? I'm Lieutenant Donald Allen Gregory, U.S. Air Force. I wish to admit my crimes against the peace-loving peoples of Vietnam. I have many times flown my aircraft at the Vietnamese people, even enjoying the death of my master's <laughs> Cluster bombs. I have used napalm. I am ashamed of myself and of America and of Americans. I plead forgiveness. I beg President Ho to forgive my crimes. SRO order. I trust that the freedom loving socialists, if taken, will forgive me. Resist as long as possible. Then do the best you can. We are all together. God bless us all. I was a colonel in the criminal army. Yeah, I hope he does. I hope he does. We can bet Lyndon Johnson won't. Shut your son of a bitch mouth. My cruelty to the Vietnamese people. As a senior officer, I personally order it the execution of hundreds of innocent Vietnamese women. This is assault, I think, eh? I don't know which one. I, I, was taught to hate I shall lift up my eyes was not willing to follow unto the hills the from whence cometh my strength. My strength Johnson. cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. I thank Senator Fulbright for demanding the bombing pause. I don't know, Russ. I pray for the victory of Vietnam. I am glad to again to be a civilian. I Kiss my rosy red American ass! I am God damn the it! of the compassionate Vietnamese captors. And now, good night, with a reminder that despite your crime is Ho Chi Minh, the president, loves you. Well, there's one guy that does not rank me anymore.